Yo friends, Leo Sion here with another vlog regarding my projects and my life stuff. So mainly, well, I'm still, let me do a quick capture on what I'm doing in terms of entertainment here. I'm still watching, watching Nadia very slowly because I'm still stuck on those bad episodes, yeah. And I've been watching The Disastrous Life of Psyche Q, no, Psyche K on Netflix. And it's a very funny anime, it's, it's got really good jokes and I've watched already some about um, 4 to 5 episodes and it did not grow stale like my whole shoujo ore. So I'd recommend that to you as well. And I've gotta shut my freaking cell phone up because it's disrupting my vlog and I don't want to edit this video so... Okay. It's silenced now. And I'm watching Nadia. I'm still playing Fire Emblem Heroes. I am watching The Disastrous Life of Psyche K. Wow. That's, a, that's about what I'm watching by myself. Uh, My Hero Academia ended, but it's gonna recap just this Saturday. I think that the third season ended, but we're about to get another one just right away so it's it's cool we won't have time to miss it and I watched the first episode of Dragon Ball Heroes and it was really 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 underwhelming I know it's like a fanfic in the script but it could have more impact you know I mean the story may be a little silly but you could invest on delivering it in a enticing manner did they do that? No, they rushed the story a lot and it's just an excuse to promote the Dragon Ball Heroes game but the animation quality is not good so even the fight scenes are not entertaining not a lot, not very entertaining it's underwhelming overall but I'll still watch it all, I, I wanna see where it gets and I'm playing Fire Emblem Heroes, what else am I playing? I had downloaded, I, I bought on Steam Summer Sale a few games and one of them was Everspace. I was gonna play it the other day and I don't have an Xbox controller. I play PC games mostly with my PlayStation 2 controller with an adapter and sometimes with the GameCube controller. Then I plugged in my PlayStation controller and I went to configure the controls of the ship because I don't I didn't I wanted to to play laying in my bed I don't want to play with the keyboard and mouse by staying close sit on my working chair but I realized that it's really really hard to configure the controls for the PlayStation one because it's it's disruptive it just goes wrong it's like it doesn't recognize some of the buttons of the PlayStation when I was trying to configure it. And it was really frustrating and I couldn't play the game that night. That got me pissed, but I wanna play it soon. And I, I also wanna play Yaiba Ninja Gaiden Z and Pixel Shinobi, which are other games I bought. Because I really want to study ninja games. I might be doing some ninja games myself. <gasps> Secret leaked! Yes, talking about secret leaks, of course, my the game I'm making is about ninjas. Big secret is out, and I, I started animating it. I finished the sketch for the idle animation of one of the four characters the player controls, and I'm quite, quite satisfied with the result. It's like the result of a frame-to-frame -frame animation of somebody who doesn't animate, who hasn't animated in a long time. <laughs> about one year or maybe two but it's kinda cool yet I think I delivered the emotions I needed to deliver with the, the animation so I can I, I'm looking forward to, to, do, to doing more animations I, I still gotta finish this up like do the line work straight because it's a sketch now and paint it all and and maybe I'll do a video about the process later and besides that, besides that, I wanted to talk to you guys and girls and whatever about something. 
Now every week I practice those realistic faces and head and my drawing. And I always wanted to be good at most styles of drawing. Like I didn't want to have limitations in terms of ability. Like I can draw a cartoon character very very stylized on any style. I can draw an anime manga character authentically because there are some far-fetched anime looking things you see some foreigners like me do that try to emulate manga they can't do it but I want to be able to really do it and I want to be able to do those hard as realistic drawings and paintings I want to have this ability and as I'm practicing those realistic heads every week so far they still look like semi-realistic because I haven't gotten there yet but I've been feeling some emptiness, you know, I practice the heads every week and most weeks I practice anatomy poses like faceless mannequins posing mostly in dynamic ways because those poses are the hardest to do and I want to be good at that drawing poses is like one of my favorite things to draw and this year I haven't practiced scenarios as much as I should have Last year I practiced them more, but ideally I should practice heads on Monday, poses on Tuesday, scenarios on Wednesday, Thursdays like do whatever I want in terms of art, and Friday painting styles. I have missed on these schedules a bit this year, except for the head parts and at all. And most of the anatomy but I've been feeling empty towards my drawings like not empty not totally empty like I feel like I'm missing something I'm not fully enjoying it I really really like making visual art but I feel like I'm not doing something that really fulfills me perhaps it's because it's been a long time since I last drew an, drew an anime character in a pose. You know, for many years that was all I made. Like, one anime character without a background. It was like a simple color background and stuff. With some pose to practice anatomy and all the process of finishing a digital, digital painting or drawing and stuff. That was my practice, my sole practice for many years. And I told myself I had to vary a bit. So I varied. I started doing still life, painting still life, which I found to enjoy a lot. I, 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 ever since I was a kid, I always thought that I would never like to draw like an apple or a glass of water. But I ended up enjoying that. But after doing all those heads and everything, I think that I'm missing on something. I, there's something I want to draw. There's something I want to paint. In, I, and I can't quite come up with what it is. And that is a bit frustrating. Like I don't I, I'm I feel like I have a potential spark to rekindle towards making those visual arts, but I can't put my finger on what style. Should I go back to drawing the, those anime characters? Should I like go full force on realistic painting? Should I go fo go full force on still life? I don't know. But I may find out. I've got to experiment more. Perhaps it's an experimenting stage I should go to, to go through. And I will invest my time on that. I will. And I will do a lot of stuff in the process. So there, there isn't much more to say this week. That is mostly all. So, friends and friendettes, stay tuned to my channel on Facebook, on my blog, on this YouTube channel. The, all the links are in the description. I've got a art station also, and a DeviantArt Debian art account that I mostly abandoned. And yeah, I've got a. I've got a lot of content, so stay tuned. And if you want your own realistic or semi-realistic head drawing with watercolor painting on top of it, 
you can ask that for from me on Fiverr. The link is in the description as well. Friends and friends, that's thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure talking to you. And I'll deliver more content very soon. Bye-bye.